if your T-Bird has been sitting for an extended period of time, a lot of times it'll boot up to this screen. And what you do at this screen is you just push where it says, it says BERT, B-E-R-T, just push that. You'll hear the fans and stuff start up on the machine. And then you go down and you just push the results button. And then it will go through its complete boot up process and take you to the bit error rate test page on the machine. You want to start up, just let the machine boot. It's going through its boot sequence now. When the unit finishes booting up, this is the screen that you'll have. Just push test in the top left corner and you'll see DS3 or DS1 all the way through OC48. So you have to pick what you want to test. So we'll pick OC48, brings out another menu, and you want to do OC48 bulk to make sure you fill all your time slots. And we're terminating. And now you wait and it uh, will reconfigure itself. Okay, once it's ready to go, you just look at the top of the machine and the two ports that it wants you to use will be flashing. So you just hook your fibers up. And then on this screen, you just go down and it says laser off. You just push that and it will turn the laser on. And if, it's, uh, if the signal coming into the receive port is too hot, it'll give you an error message saying to uh, put an attenuator on it. So that's what we're going to do now. Once you have it attenuated, just push the reset button. Now over here, you'll see that you have green lights on everything. So all you should have to do now is just push the restart test button right here. And it turns green. Um, if you want to make sure that you're, you're actually testing to, your, to a loop, you can insert an error. So there's all kinds of different types of errors you can insert. I usually just insert a bit error, a uh, single, just push insert error. And as you can see, we have one bit error now. So we'll restart that again. If you're testing a DWDM circuit, a lot of times you'll need to change your timing source from internal to recovered. And it won't work on this loop that I'm currently testing on, but on a lot of DWDM testing situations, that's what you need to do. And that's it. That's how you run a BER test.